Today's learning target is I can read a word problem and determine which operation to use. And when I say operation, I mean things like multiply, divide, add, or subtract. Today we're going to work together on making sense of a mathematical problem. Sometimes these are called word or story problems. Just like when we read stories in books, we have to comprehend what the story is about. We will read it three times because good readers reread stories to make sense of them. So we're going to use a strategy or a version of a strategy called three read, which means exactly what it says. We're going to read it three times. First time I'm going to read it to you and I just want you to listen. During a normal day, there are 280 planes taking off from the airport, but the airport is a lot busier on Christmas Day. There are 336 airplanes that take off on Christmas Day. The airport opens for 12 hours each day. So think to yourself, what is this situation about? What's going on here? What is the setting? What's the story? Are there any characters? Think of it just like if you were reading a book in your English class. How would you describe this problem in your own words? So what is the situation about? You can pause this video if you want to reflect. Now I want you to think about what are the quantities in this situation. Quantities mean numbers, their units, and their relationship. So this time I'm going to read it again for our second read, and I want you to read out loud with me. During a normal day, there are 280 planes taking off from the airport, but the airport is a lot busier on Christmas Day. There are 336 airplanes that take off on Christmas Day. The airport opens for 12 hours each day. What quantities do you see? Pause this video so that you can look. So if I had this problem in front of me, I'd probably take a highlighter or pencil and I would circle or underline those quantities and numbers that I see. I saw there were 280 planes on the normal day, 336 airplanes on Christmas day, and then we're talking about a time period of 12 hours open each day. Now, what are all the possible mathematical questions we could ask of this situation? Notice there's no question at the end of this word problem right now. I haven't given that to you on purpose because I want us to focus on the story. Let's read this one more time. Third time, we're going to read it together. You can read out loud with me again. During a normal day, there are 280 planes taking off from the airport, but the airport is a lot busier on Christmas Day. There are 336 airplanes that take off on Christmas Day. The airport opens for 12 hours each day. So some of the questions I might ask myself is, okay, if, if I was looking at this set of data, what, could I, what kind of problem could I come up with? Well, how many planes take off every month? Could we figure that out? How many more planes fly on Christmas Day than on a normal day? Or how many planes take off in one hour on a normal day? What about on Christmas Day? Those are all different questions you could ask yourself and you could write down as you were trying to solve a problem. Now I'm ready to give you the question. So we're gonna, I'm gonna read this one more time, which is more than our three reads, but it, it'll help us out today. During a normal day, there are 280 planes taking off from the airport, but the airport is a lot busier on Christmas day. There are 336 airplanes that take off on Christmas day. The airport opens for 12 hours every day. How many planes take off from this airport in one hour on Christmas day? So what do I know? I know that we've got 280 planes on the normal day. Airport is open 12 hours every day. 336 planes on Christmas Day. Think of the question. We need to figure out what operation are we going to use to solve the problem. How many planes take off from this airport in one hour? One hour. Well, originally I was given 12 hours. So I'm going from a larger amount here to a smaller amount. So what operation? Well, addition is combining. Subtraction means to take away. Multiplication means repeated addition and creates a larger amount. Division is splitting a larger group into equally small groups or distributing evenly. So out of all those operations, pause this video and see which one you think we should do. When I look at this problem and I say, okay, I know that we're dealing with Christmas Day. It looks like that first part is going to be extra information I don't need. I don't need to know how many go on a normal day because it's asking me specifically about Christmas Day. So if I do look at the Christmas Day, 336 airplanes and in 12 hours total, but it wants me to split that up into how many go into one hour a day. So looking at those four main operations, 
when I look at my totals here, it looks like I'm not combining. I'm not really taking away. It's not repeated addition. I'm not trying to create a larger amount. It looks like I'm trying to take something that's already large and splitting it into equally smaller groups. Like I'm dealing with 12 hours and now I'm scaling back and I want to know how many planes go in just one hour. So if I'm going from 12 hours, I need to split it into one hour sections, like how many planes are in every hour to equal up to that 12 hours. I think this might be division. So when creating this and, you know, coming up with our, our solving, our solution to our problem, sometimes it's easier and helps us visualize by making an equation. Now, we're not going to actually solve the problem today, but we are going to set up an equation so that we can determine how to solve and find our, fi find our final solution. So one more time, again, looking at these four main operations based on the information given me in the word problem, the story problem. Okay, and based on the question, which is asking me how many planes take off from this airport in one hour on Christmas Day. Okay, based on that, and then based on the fact that I know how many go in 12 hours, if I have that total large amount, looking at my operations, it looks like division is going to be the best fit. Again, I'm not combining, I'm not taking away, I'm not doing repeated addition to create a larger amount. I am splitting a larger group or a larger number into equally smaller groups into one hour increments versus one whole 12 hour day. Okay. So when I look at this equation, let's, let's see here. My total amount was 336 planes take off on Christmas Day. Correct. Okay. Then we've already determined that division was going to be our um, operation. And then, well, what do we divide by? Well, if I know that there are 336 airplanes in 12 hours total, and I need to figure out how many are in one hour, then I'm going to divide that 336 total by 12, the 12 hours, to figure out how many is in just one hour. So I'm taking 336, I'm dividing it into equal groups. I'm distributing it evenly across 12 groups and I'm seeing how many are in one of those groups and that gives me my answer. Now you're probably wondering why there's an N where my answer should be. Sometimes in math we use um, letters which are called variables to represent a number and that number we don't know yet. It could be 25, it could be 13. We don't know what the answer is going to be yet because we haven't worked it out. But sometimes setting up an equation helps you visualize what you're going to need to do. So we have our 336 divided by 12 equals n, and n just represents that unknown number that we don't know yet, our answer, but we will know after we solve this problem. And it doesn't always have to be an n, it can be an x, a v. You can use any letter from the alphabet as a variable to represent a number, kind of like a placeholder. He's holding the place of the number that is going to be there eventually. So we could use this equation to solve our problem and find the answer to how many planes take off from this airport in one hour on Christmas Day. So remember that our learning target was all about determining the operation we needed to use to solve a word problem. Okay, so we went back and if we scroll back a little bit, we talked about our four main operations. You, this would be a good thing to write down as some notes. You can always pause this video or replay this video and watch it as many times as you need to in order to understand how to maybe determine the operation needed to use. And this video too is a great resource on how to dissect a word problem and chunk it down. Think of it as a story and use all the information you know to make a good decision on how you're gonna execute the solving of your problem. So the three read strategy is great for any word problem, no matter what operation you are doing. Make sure to reach out to your teacher if you have any more questions and use these strategies on your own story problems.